Ladies and gentlemen, dear liberal friends, allow me first to thank Albert and Hans for organizing this event. It is a real privilege being here with you today. I must say that listening to previous speakers and many others at this Congress that truly care for the future of Europe makes me proud to be a leader of the youngest member of the ALDI family. <clears throat> <clears throat> For us, it was a natural decision. The election campaign our country experienced this spring was marked predominantly with the migration issue, a global problem that some parties used for spreading fear, xenophobia, and nationalism, all with one single goal not to make our country even better, not to present solutions for a stronger Europe, but simply to gain power. As you can see, they failed. The majority said no to the policy of exclusion, hate speech, and protectionism. They said yes to an open and strong Europe of principles and values. A reaction, unfortunately, being becoming rare in our part of the Europe. Slovenia remains an open-minded liberal country, a member state that still believes in a strong and integrated European Union where the rule of law, human rights, and the four freedoms should be defended at every corner. And we will work hard to secure these achievements our fathers have built because we do not want Europe to slide back into the past. Ladies and gentlemen, having this in mind, I'm proud to be one of eight prime ministers in the European Council, that we are liberals. It <clears throat> It is great to see how strong our liberal voice in European politics has become. Not only because we are an important political group in the European Council, but above all because we are friends with a positive agenda that can really work together. This is especially important now, before European elections that could set the course of the future of Europe. I'm confident that we are strong and open-minded enough to become a true force in Europe. A force strong enough to counter poisonous populism and Euroscepticism. And strong enough to get at least one European top job next summer. Because liberalism can and should hold a crucial role in European politics. Dear liberal friends, I wish you a great Congress. Thank you. <clears throat>